It's Bourbon Night. It's a barrel proof flight fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, say barrel proof flight fight. I can't say barrel proof say flight ba fight. You guys, try say this. Barrel, barrel proof, proof flight, flight fight. fight. You have to easy. really think about it. No. In conversation, I'm like barrel proof flight fight. Barrel proof flight fight. Anyway, we're doing a <laughs> barrel proof flight fight. This is the first one. There's going to be four before Total. we do our finals. That's correct. Yeah, so cool. five. We'll put a question mark in the teleprompter. <laughs> finals? <laughs> There's four? There's five. Um, but yeah, 16 barrel-proof bourbons. Sarah, what do we got? What do we have? Well, Chad, we have E.H. Taylor barrel-proof. That's 129 proof. George T. Stagg at 129.2 proof. Barrel bourbon at 109.4 proof and Knob Creek 25th anniversary at 121.9 proof. Whoa, okay, so some stout ones in there. Nothing that's like in the 130s, like nothing too crazy. They're yes. all kind of, you know, we randomized this. Just kind of mixed them all up well, and, they, and they fell where they did. 129. The H. Taylor Barrel Proof is sure. 129. So we are trying the same things at the same time, but neither one of us know what they are. Let's get started, Bourbon A. Ooh, I smell spicy notes. <laughs> I smell uh, boozy syrup, boozy caramel syrup. Boozy syrup is what you said, I think, about barrel bourbon on the uncorking. Yeah, you're right. I am right. And barrel bourbon is in here. Interesting. That's true. Mm -hmm. Now, is that your mind placing it? But I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. I don't know. Mm, so But spiced. yeah, spice. Yeah, definitely spice. Wood. Spice real nice. Yeah, spice real nice and some nice wood notes. <sighs> Just lovely. I mean, and the color's beautiful it is. on it. Look at that. Mm, look at that color. Look at that color. All right, well. Can't wait to taste it. Let's dive in here. <laughs> oh. oh. That's really good. It's it's warm on the tongue. It's definitely got barrel notes. Yes. And, and dare I say it so soon. Boozy syrup. Nutty. It's a little nutty. It's a little nutty. I get a little almond. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a lot of char. Oh man, in there, Kentucky hug right off yes. the bat, off the first See, sip. I think we're gonna be like, it's hot. We got a Kentucky hug. It's got a long finish on all of these because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just go ahead and repeat that canvas box. <laughs> um, no, it's really good. It does have a long finish. Not it's really nice, on, nice tongue feel. Yeah, for sure. Nice mouth feel. Nice mouth feel. It uh I do get the remnants of syrup mm. on the aftertaste for this, on the finish. Yeah. You know, some of these tend to go like, especially for me, like in that chocolate direction mm -hmm. on the finish. This one, not so much, at least not off the get. More of like that syrup aftertaste. Yeah. I enjoy it. See, it's it's kind of different. I'm having a very different experience. Even, I mean, I know we're trying the same thing at the same time, but I'm getting a lot more of those wood charred notes. Mm, okay. So. Well. To each his own. Yes. This one has a lot more <sighs> Completely fruit. different ballpark, yeah. Subtle fruit and floral. Yeah, it smells lighter. It smells slower proof, if I had to guess. Yeah. Not that that matters. I'm not trying to figure out what's what. But sometimes I like to just know, just so I can be right. It smells sugary. It does smell sugary. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet, like a Saturday morning bowl of cereal. Put that on your tag. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, and it tastes different. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's, well. Oh. I think I know which one this is. Oh. There's a particular flavor note that reminds me of something that I have said before that I do not say very often, so. Huh. I won't say what it is because I don't want to ruin it for well, Chad. Let's talk about the flavor note. I mean, that's what we're here for. Come on. But you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, well, I don't listen to what you say. I feel that this is giving me some plum. What'd you say plum about? <laughs> See, he doesn't remember. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, you said that about the barrel bourbon. That's right. So now we have, I said things reminiscent, this, our last uncorking was barrel bourbon, of barrel bourbon on A, and you have things on B. On B. That are reminiscent. I really feel like I it's I don't remember it's it having this much of a kick, though. What's uh, it coming in at? 109.4. So 109.4. I feel like on the nose, the lowest. It, it came at me lower proof, but I'm getting plum and I'm getting some sugar, like, we, like in a syrupy mm, way, uh -huh. and I'm getting some, you know, nice, just like spice on the end, but who knows? All right, let's on move on to, to C. C. That was my singing voice. On to C. <laughs> you're here, you're to be flat, I need a C. I can't sing. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to give you that. Oh. Wow, we're gonna have to cut that out. Nope. 
This is an intense little tiny cup wow. of bourbon. This is This is a little, all of the wood. A little ditty. I don't know if it's about Jack and Diane, but. This is all the wood and some pepper oh, and. This almost smells like a rye. It, it does, but not in that kitchen spice kind of way. Like I think it has peppery notes of a rye, but not like all spice. Yeah. Oh, it smells like it has <laughs> some very deep notes. It's going to be intense. I'll tell you what this nose reminds me of, if I rem remember correctly. It's the uh, Booker's Rye. Ooh, interesting. Now, is it a Jim Beam product? Is this the Knob Creek? I don't know. We'll find I out. I don't know. You probably know from the things down here, but. Oh, they know. I thought you meant me. I'm like, no, what things? They. <laughs> The people in the cameras. Oh, hi. Hi. I didn't see you there. I didn't see you there. All right. Um, here we go. Oh, that's special. That is all kinds of wood. Yeah. And spice. Not all the spices. Certain sure. spices. Sure. Sure. It's a balanced Clove. spice with Clove. wood forward. Yeah. Woo. Dark. Going into the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm liking it. Uh, ooh, dark cherries on, on the, on the, <laughs> I feel like I should be on the finish. Charting your emotions <laughs> yeah. over ooh, here. Ah, ah, Spike. Put some, put some uh, nodes on my brain here. Cause I got some, some, some synapses scribbles. firing. Dark cherry, mm. um, finish dark cherry, chocolate, chocolate covered cherries on the finish. Wood immediately. Now it's pulling back. I'm just getting an overwhelming amount of wood with like a little bit of like a toasted caramel that's or something. Fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm trying, maybe like a little toasted marshmallowy, mm -hmm. but I'm not getting, I'm looking for the cherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of like a, a cordial where it kind of just bursts. Interesting. Yeah. Sounds like a lovely experience. Mm -hmm. I wish I was having it. <laughs> I mean, that's some stuff that they would write on the back of the bottle. <laughs> A cherry, a cherry cordial bursting burst in your mouth. Of... I think that that's a little mm. X-rated. <laughs> now this doesn't. And this smells, smells nutty to me. Yeah. I'm getting nutty on this. Uh, salted peanuts. Yes, for like sure. Ballpark. I mean, this yeah, is ballpark. This is like baseball. This is America's pastime. Right here. It smells like salted peanuts outdoors in the crisp fall air. A little bit of salted caramel. Because obviously caramel, bourbon. There's a hint of that sweetness. Man, I've never smelled such a salted peanut nose before. Does it take you out to the ball game? It take... <laughs> Ballpark. Take me out to the ball game. Yeah, who's wrong? Ball it's you. Park. No, it's ball game. Frank's ballpark. Frank's. Take me out to the ball game. Yeah, you're right. I know. Take me out to the... I got him started with the songs, but you guys, uh, this is straight up salted peanuts. Buy me some bourbon and cracker, cracker jacks. jacks. But really just the bourbon. Yeah. I really don't care if I ever go back. <laughs> mm -mm. Whoa! That's got to be the most salted peanut tasting bourbon I've ever tasted. It's good, too. Wow! Wow! Wow, guys! I definitely have a theory about exactly which ones each of these are, and I can't wait to tell you about it. Okay, okay, I can't wait to hear it. I mean, do you have a front runner and a, and a last place? At this point, I do not yeah. have that answer. Uh -oh. No. Um, I'm gonna have to go back through. All of them are really tasty, and they all have a very unique personality, so I'm gonna basically, it's like going on a date, and I gotta choose who I wanna go on a second date with. Sorry, Chad. Bourbon B, will you accept my rose? Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> who gets a rose and who's getting sent home? Okay, this well. Is, yeah, I need some deliberation and I gotta yeah. taste these again. I think we gotta cracker time it. Let's do it. And then we gotta go back. Would you feed each other the cracker? Or do you like this? Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to feed each other? Or is it just us? How would we I think in this way, double yeah. back around? <laughs> we can't. Can't do that. And we are back. And it's time to go to round two. I almost said three. <laughs> round two. Round two. With this many fingers. Fight. Fight. <laughs> no, we should say that we did smaller pours and we're taking smaller sips. Because sure. these are some serious proofs. These are some proofs. beasts. So, uh, first round. I have no front runner. All unique 
and we knew we were going to get into this. Sure. So we're going to go back through. Do you want to just do A through D again? Sure. I mean, they're at random anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. I don't know what's what. Okay. Still spicy. I still get nutty on this one. I still don't. Huh. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm wrong. I really like this one a lot. I'm getting nutty on the finish now. Compared to some of the other ones, for me, it's like, it's not a home run. It's like on third base. Not like that. <laughs> baseball in a different way. Maybe I need a new metaphor. We are bringing up baseball a lot on this one. It's almost a home run. Like, but there's just something not. It just it's not a closer. It's not checking to it. every box. It's not checking every box for me. It's okay. checking almost every box. It got an A, okay. but not an A plus. I love A. Um, I want to go back for a for a second on my second. I'm picking up nut on the finish where I wasn't initially. That. Boozy syrup is is still in the nose, but not so much in the taste or the finish. I would be pleased to drink any of these. Oh, yeah. Delighted. And you are drinking. I am. All of these. Hey, thanks, Chad, for let me drink all these. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, B is just such a departure from A. Maybe the most unique of the four here. The proof is coming up more for me than yes. it was before. And I really It's a sweet caramel heat with cinnamon. With cinnamon. With, now with more now cinnamon. Now with cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some apple peel on the finish, but definitely that cinnamon, it's got this like uh, creeping heat on the tongue. Mm -hmm. It's, I still stand behind B is one of the more unique ones of this flight. So I have to tell you that while we were on break before cracker time, I told Chad the theory that I had about what each of these are. I should not have done that because on second taste. Is a th is it a theory or a hypotenuse? Hypothesis. hypothesis. <laughs> it's not a hypotenuse, that's a triangle. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> is it a hypothesis or no, a theory? It's it was a hypothesis. Okay. And I wish I hadn't said it because You're I wrong. should ha I don't know that. I should have gone for the second taste first because this is changing everything for me. Like I'm I thought I knew where I was. I actually don't know where I am at all. <laughs> so Oh, it's so hot oh, on the I middle of the tongue. And I didn't wait for you. My bad. You just went to C? No, I went to D, actually. Kevin! I just had a little bit of a taste. Just a little taste. All right, I'm on to C. You're on to C. I'm on to C. Oh, this smells so good. This is a... This is my boozy syrup. Like, this is what you imagine a fine whiskey to smell like. When you picture it in your mind, this reminds me, mm. this is one of those that has such levels of flavor and a nose that yeah. it almost takes you somewhere like, nostal never, never like nostalgia or something. Oh, okay. Like it can almost transport you. It's almost like a memory. Second star of the right and straight on till morning. Do you know what I mean though? Yes. <laughs> no, it's like when you go to that really generous person's house and they're like, hey, have you had this before? And you're like, no, no one has in the past 50 years you crazy bastard. And then they pour it for you and you're like, -na 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 -na. Uh, you yeah. lift me up. You raise me up, but it's okay. Dad got it. You and the song lyrics, ballpark and Ow. lift me up. I don't know what's wrong with you today. I'm out of it. Yeah. I'm doing a barrel proof flight fight. But at least I can say barrel proof flight fight. Can I be honest and say, if we're voting for the best, the best nose of the day, <laughs> I'll lie to you. The best nose of the day for me goes to bourbon seat. The shadow nose. No, I get what you're saying. C is like, it tastes expensive. It tastes special. It's like wood, bam. And then, <laughs> it's like, but wood. now I'm getting more of Egg. the, I got the cherry. I probably just went out of the camera. It just hit. I don't get the chocolate, but I get the cherry. Okay, C. But it's very wood, 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 cherry. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> and and scene. scene. All right. <laughs> Glad you got there. Just means I'm a little bit ahead of you. <clears throat> Still such. Okay. I Take said peanut. Me out to the ball game. It is salted Take peanut, but it's something else too. Jelly. It's very sweet. The sweetness of jelly. It's a peanut butter and jelly graham cracker s'more. Come on, jelly. get behind that. Get behind that. Graham it's cracker. Not a s'more. I don't get any graham cracker. Graham cracker. A little. Uh, uh, little Teddy Grahams? No, like a <laughs> like a one of those. They'll come in the box and you break them apart. Graham crackers. Yeah, kindergarten snack time before nap time with apple juice. That's what this is. What are you talking about? Kindergarten? I had it yesterday. 
They just gave me bourbon. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Like, All right, well, that's what this My throat's sore. I need that. <laughs> I'm getting some fruitiness now that I wasn't syrup. getting before, but I also still get the salted peanuts, which is weird. It's less now. This is what it is. I just completely stumbled upon it when I said I need some of that homemade cough syrup. It's honey. That's what I'm getting the graham cracker. It's that bit of honey. Mmm, I see, I see. It's honey and yes. What honey's a little syrupy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is a roller coaster. Now I'm kind of getting the plum on this one. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know what's what. Where am I? <laughs> Slap my face. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, this has a lot going on in yeah. the flavor department. It's yeah. kind of all over the place. I don't know if it's good or bad. It's almost like when you go to the carnival and you get like <clears throat> a candied apple with caramel and you also get popcorn and you also get cotton candy, but you also get salted peanuts, but you also get a Coke, but you also get, and it's just all And up. they're all in your teeth. And at the end. So you're still tasting them. You're, you're just like, them all at the same time. What did I just eat? Yeah. And it was a literally a roller coaster of flavors. Roller coaster. And did we just bring that? Full circle? Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, All we right. Did. I think this is the part We're professionals. of the day when we do our own thing and okay. make our rankings. Let's do it. Because I don't want to talk to you about this. I don't want to talk like, to you. I like, I don't even want to look at I want a at, little divider just here. Just don't a little even divider. Look at don't me. even. I can't even. Don't right even now. think about looking at me. I can't even right now. I just can't even. <laughs> right. Well, that was super tough, but uh, <laughs> it's results time. Whew, Sarah, uh, if this is anything like what they're going to be in the future, which obviously it is, this is going to be tough stuff. You know, Chad, we say, I have said before, this is the toughest flight fight I've ever done. This is the toughest flight fight I've ever done. And the Rye ones, I said that, the finals, I said that. I'm fiddling, well, that was, fiddling with this pen. That, that was, was. That was. Up until this point in my life, the toughest flight fight I've ever done. So you're, you're saying they're getting tougher and you tougher. You know, honestly, it may have been a little bit harder. I think that we've made our choices. We have quite different rankings. We too. Um, so this is going to be yeah. a moment where you identify with one of our palettes or the yeah. other. It's not going to be like the rise. And it looks <laughs> like something different is going to the finals for both of us. Okay, so I just wrote down my uh, results here. I'm gonna start with my last, which I think is also your last place. That's correct. D. Now there was nothing bad about D, guys, but it was so, and you know I'm a nutty fan. If you follow the show, you know I like nut. It was so salted peanut. So I agree with you. That it kind of took me out of it. There were so many parts of Bourbon D that I enjoyed. Yeah. Um, but like I described before, it was kind of a roller coaster of flavors of you know, caramel apple and salted peanuts and yeah. cotton candy and da, da 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 Compared to other three, and we found this out, when you put it next to other ones, it can right. really, you can really wrestle with and it. And for me, there just was something a little bit lacking, but it was still delicious. Letter D is last for both Letter of us. Letter D is last, so let's look at the bottom. What is it? Same time. Uh. What? It's barrel bourbon. It's barrel bourbon. You thought it was Knob Creek, did you not? On the first time, on the second time, I said, I think this has more plum you nuts. You did, you did, you did. I was actually really worried that I was putting, not that it matters, because it shouldn't, but I thought it was very uncharacteristic of me to put Knob Creek last, but it turns out it's not Knob Creek. So, well, that means you were true to your emotions. Yeah, true to my emotions. <laughs> now, this is where we differ. That's the only one we put in this the same place. This is where we differ. We normally go according to mine, so let's go according to yours. Okay, well, it was very tough. Very tough, we've already established that, mm -hmm. but I put Bourbon B as my third place. We still love to have it always, but B, sorry, put you third. Sorry, B, for Chad. E.H. Taylor, barrel proof, what? What? Well, yeah. there goes my guessing system. Okay. okay, so are you recovered yet? Are you ready to go to the next thing? Uh, okay. I'm okay, yeah, yeah. You ready? That is so, many years ago, Chappelle show, sorry. All right, yeah, um, it was a tough battle between first and second, but I gave second place to C, first place to A. Mm. Let's do the winner, let's do A. You wanna do the winner? Yeah. Let's All right, winner. let's see who won it. Letter A is, <laughs> Knob Creek 25th anniversary. Not shocking, but I so didn't think that was that. You didn't. I didn't, which makes my second place Yep, 
George T. Stag, wow. everybody. BTAC, Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. What Coming you thought second. was your like dream boat, like dream date. That dream was date. your dream date. Yeah. Uh, and it came in second. Well, interesting. I'll deal. All you right. will deal. Well, okay. so we already know your last place is Barrel Bourbon. Mm -hmm. My second to last place was letter A, which we now know is the Knob Creek 25th. Knob I, Creek Again, 25th. I really enjoyed this, and this was neck and neck with letter B, sure. which was E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Um, sorry, I just gave it away. My winner is George T. Stagg. George T. Stagg! There was just something undeniable. The depth of flavor was just unmeasured against the other ones. Like, they're... They were all delicious. A and B were neck and neck, but George T. Stag just, there was just something. Well, it had so many layers. Like I said, it was like a memory and there's just nothing, nothing else here could compete with it flavor wise. Let's just say that your first and second were both Buffalo Trace products. <gasps> Look at that. My second and third were Buffalo Trace products. Ooh. And you know, in our top three, Jim our top Beam. three were interchangeable. Yeah, we're we're interchangeable. And then we both put Barrel Bourbon, uh, batch fourteen. We should we should mention. We should mention that uh, as as last. Interesting. Very interesting. Now let's see how you. No 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 no. We're oh, not going to so talk wrong. about that. Oh, you, it was so you wrong. You were so wrong. She we're not guessed. talking about it. At Cracker Time, she wrote down what she thought things were. And it was so wrong. And you were wrong on. Pretty all much everything. Yes, all of them. All of... No, you got C right. I got C? Yep. Okay, well... well you got one of four. I got one of four. Not let's, passing. Um, Not a passing grade. Let that be a lesson to you. Let that be a lesson to you. That you should give things a second taste before you... Like, wait a minute. Wait a eat minute. a cracker, give it a second taste, because it's not always as it seems. Um, and it doesn't matter what you think is what. It doesn't really matter what I nope. guessed. I nope. picked something different. We so. were both very wrong. We were both very wrong. But that's not why we do it. No. We do it for these results. Yeah, and I don't care if I'm wrong. Did you have a good time? Sure. I just like to guess for fun. Exactly. I had a great wow. time. We got three more and then the finals to go, folks. So stay tuned to that. Those um, finals are going to be super intense. Woo! Cool. Well, guys. Woo, cool. Look, um, if you want to do your own flight fight at home and you want to use the glasses that we use we have an amazon influencer page it's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbonite we have things like this mm -hmm. the bar mats the even down to the stickers that we put on here all on on that page it's true tell them about our patreon so we have a patreon page it's patreon.com slash it's bourbonite um you can become one of our drinky buddies our inner circle a regular just a one dollar patron or you can just publicly enjoy the posts that we put up there some are exclusive some are public our lens Check it out. See if you want to join. Yep. Um, follow along there. And then you can follow us on all the social medias at It's Bourbonite. Yeah. And that will do it for us. That's right. Yeah. So look forward to these in the future. Yeah. Fun times. All right. Well, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. And until next time, drink more barrel proof. Can he hold them all? Bourbon. <laughs>